Hi, we are from at home tuition. In this video, we are going to see few examples on how to find outcomes of an event and also to find probability of the given question. Our first question is when a die is thrown, list the outcomes of an event of getting a prime number, not a prime number, a number greater than 5 and a number not greater than 5. So, we will see. We know that a die has 6 faces namely 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, when a die is thrown, we may get any one number from 1 to 6. So, the possible outcome is 6. So, now we will move on to the question. So, first question is the outcome of an event of getting a prime number. So, we know that a die has numbers from 1 to 6 and the prime numbers between 1 to 6 are 2, 3 and 6. 5. So, totally we have 3 prime numbers. So, the outcome of an event getting a prime number is 3 and those numbers are 2, 3 and 5. And next question is find the outcome of an event to getting not a prime number. So, again we know that the die has numbers from 1 to 6. The numbers that are not prime number between this 1 and 6 is 1, 4 and 6. So, totally we have 3 numbers that are not prime from the numbers 1 to 6. So, thus we are saying that the outcomes of an event of getting not a prime number is 3 and those numbers are 1, 4 and 6. Next question is outcomes of a number greater than 5. So, a number in the die which is greater than 5 is we know that a die has numbers from 1 to 6 and the number which is greater than 5 is 6. So, it has only one number which is greater than 5. So, thus the outcome of an event of getting a number greater than 5 is 6 and it is only one outcome is possible. And the next question is a number not greater than 5. So, the numbers in the die which are not greater than 5 are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, totally we have 5 numbers. So, the possible outcome is 5. Thus, the outcomes of an event of getting a number not greater than 5 are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Next question is, a bag has 4 red balls and 2 yellow balls. The balls are identical in all respects other than color. A ball is drawn from the bag without looking into the bag. What is the probability of getting a red ball? Is it more or less than getting a yellow ball? So, they have given red balls, 4 red balls and yellow balls. We have 2 balls and they are given, they are identical in all respects. They are identical in shape and size only the color is different so totally in to all together you have 4 plus 2 6 balls so the total outcome of the event is 6 so our given question is probability of drawing a red ball without looking into the pack you have to draw a red ball you have to find the probability for that so the outcome of getting a red ball is 4 because you have totally 4 red balls so we know the formula for probability chance of getting outcomes divided by total chance or total number of possible outcomes divided by total number of outcomes so here outcome of getting a red ball divided by total number of balls. So the probability of getting a red ball is, so getting a red ball, so total number of red balls you have 4 and the total number of balls is 6. So probability of getting a red ball is 4 divided by 6. If you simplify you will get 2 divided by 3. So thus the probability of getting a red ball is 2 divided by in the same way, we can find the probability of getting a yellow ball. So, you know the formula, the probability of getting yellow ball is equal to number of yellow balls divided by total number of balls. So, you know that you have two yellow balls. So, probability of getting yellow ball is two yellow balls divided by total number of balls that is six balls. That is two divided by six or one divided by so, the probability of getting a yellow ball is 1 divided by 3. But our question is, is it more or less than getting a yellow ball? So, we want to find whether probability is more or less than the red ball for a yellow ball. So, you know that we have found out probability of red ball is 2 divided by 3 and probability of yellow ball is 1 divided by 3. So, 2 by 3 is more than 1 by 3. Therefore, the probability of getting a red ball is more than that of getting a yellow ball.
Next question is, you suppose you spin the wheel shown. So the question is, list the number of outcomes of getting a green sector and not getting a green sector on this wheel. Find the probability of getting a green sector and find the probability of not getting a green sector. So first we will see the first question. List the number of outcomes of getting a green sector and not green sector on this wheel. First we will look into the wheel. So if you look into the wheel, you have totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sectors. So out of this 8 sectors, you have 1, 2, 3 red sectors and 5 green sectors. So if you spin the wheel and if you want to stop that on the green sector, then there, there are 5 possibilities out of this 8 sectors. Suppose if you want the wheel to stop not in the green sector, that is in the red sector, then you have three possibilities out of this eight sectors. So thus the possible number of outcomes of getting green sector is five and the possible number of outcomes of getting not a green sector is three. Next question is find the probability of getting a green sector. So you know that probability formula is chance of getting outcome divided by total chance. So in this case chance of getting green sector divided by total number of sectors. So the chance of green sector is you know that there are totally 5 green sectors. So the chance of getting green sectors is 5 and the total number of sectors is 5 plus 3 8. So therefore the probability of getting a green sector is 5 green sectors divided by the total sectors, 5 green sectors plus 3 red sectors, so that is 8. So it's 5 by 8. Thus the probability of getting a green sector is 5 divided by 8. Next question is find the probability of not getting a green sector. So you know 5 green sectors and 3 sectors which are red. So your question is not getting a green sector. So the formula is probability is equal to the total number of possible outcomes divided by number of outcomes. So the possible outcomes of not getting a green sector divided by total number of sectors. So not getting green sector means red sector. So three red sectors divided by total red sectors that is 8. So thus the probability of not getting a green sector is 3 divided by 8. Next question is find the probability of the pointer stopping on D. So if you look into the wheel, you have totally 5 sectors namely A, A, B, C and G. So we know the formula for probability chance of getting outcome divided by total chance. So in this case, the total number of possible outcomes that is outcome of getting a D. So you have only 1 D sector here. So the possibility outcome for D is 1 and the total number of sectors is 5. So therefore, the probability of getting a D is 1 divided by 5. Thus, the probability of D is 1 divided by 5. Hope you have understood all the questions well. Thank you for watching the video.